What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 MT as well as NFL 20 Muck Coins, please go to dvdj.com, link will be in the description, use code BUGS for 10% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy BUGS back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video, and today we got Market Overview. Now, this is a series where, go over the market, I'm going to tell you what to buy and what to sell, all that good stuff. Today, guys, uh, make sure you drop a like on the video, okay? Sub if you're new for a chance at winning 25,000, 20,000 MT, 35 likes on the video. Somebody will win 20,000 MT. Um, so, yeah, guys, there was a winner announced on, I believe, Friday or Saturday. So, stay tuned for that. Yes, this is Market Overview. Let's go over it. So, in this series, bro, go over the market, what to buy and sell. It's pretty much my favorite thing. Market. It's Market Sunday, pretty much. I love it. Um, very simple, pretty much just go over card prices, tell you what to buy, what to sell. Usually, I usually tell you to sell because there's always great times to sell. Right now, I'm going to actually tell you guys to buy because cards are low. But then again, cards could go even lower. So I wouldn't buy just yet. That's all I'm going to say. So let's get into it. First off, I like to go with my best filter and it's usually Amethyst NBA 20. Okay, this is my favorite filter. Um, it's pretty much the method where I make most of my MT. So let's go over it. So with this filter, what I like to do is I like to look for Harden, number one. I like to look for, actually, no, let me show you. So as you can see, bro, there's a flood of Amethyst NBA 20s, right? So there's a flood of them. There's a ton of Amethyst 20s. And what you guys should do right now, since they're so cheap, you could go ahead and pick them up, right? You could pick them up for around, since you see Harden and all that. Let's say you get some for 17K, right? So as you can see, the cheapest are Harden, Kawhi, and Paul George, right? So with that said, since they are so cheap, you could go ahead and pick them up. Now, what happens? So today is Friday. Wait, no, I'm, I'm bugging. Today is Sunday. And um, what happens is, since you pick them up now and they're really cheap, you want to take them. You want to wait till I would say Monday night or maybe even Tuesday. Hopefully they don't drop content on Tuesday and you want to sell them on later. And now why are they so cheap? Because they did drop Diamond Heart and AD earlier this week, which means, or later in the week, which means that you can make a ton of MT off these cards. That's why they're flooded with the market right now. So pretty much you could buy these cards and flip them and make a lot of MT. But now also with them dropping moments cards it is a little more riskier that is the one thing i'm going to tell you guys so yes they're going to have high demand because people are still trying to do sets but it's still very risky you have to put that into value okay um also though with this filter you can not only snipe out Harden, Kawhi, and paul george you can snipe out curry Giannis, ad and lebron and they all go for about double these cards prices so if you get any of them that's a big dub that's why I like this filter personally. It's very good. Also, guys, there is a heat check filter. I don't know exactly what it is, but I know it is a decent filter. I usually just go like heat check. I don't know, like maximum buyout, something like this. And if you could pull something out of it, it's not a bad filter to use. Great way to make MT. But let's go over some cards now. So out this filter is good. Also, diamond filter is good. This diamond filter, I'll show you. Um, pretty much just diamond. It's like 24. I would say like 30k. Ooh, Jojo White for 30k. That's actually a good price, I think. Jojo White 30k. Let's see what we rocking with. 30, 38, 35. We can make about 2k. That's not a bad price. This card right here, if you get it for this price, you could wait. He's pretty sure he's out of packs, which he is. He could go up in value, but you never know these days in 2k. Um, not a bad price i would make about 1500 mt and eh, it's not worth it uh, if i were keep him i already do have him so yeah man but yeah so cards to buy right now so let's go over it um we got it is market sunday now i'm gonna tell you that this video is pre-recorded so some of this might not be accurate but i'm gonna tell you one card to pick up right now because he's so cheap and it's tracy mcgrady um T Mac is so cheap. Let's see. Uh he's at 52k. Now he is out of packs. There's no other ways to get him unless they drop a spin the wheel. Now 52k, he's very cheap. I really think you could use him on your team if you want, because I love T Mac. But 52k, if you can maybe get him for this bit of 45, that's also valid. I think his price will rise. Not a bad car to get, especially during the market crash. Um, let's see. Kobe, let's see. He's also a good car to buy. If you can get him for under, I would say 70K. 
he's a good car to buy. I would say under 68k, good car to buy. Um, he's probably gonna go up in overall, dude. Everything's crashed right now because of these moments, bro. These moment cars absolutely destroy the auction and the new moments of the week for the Trey Young. So that is one reason why the market is crashed. So you have to keep that in mind. That is a big reason. So what else does Bugs want you to buy? Another really good card I suggest you buy right now is Rolando Blackman. He is a pink diamond for 50K. Like it's a no brainer in my opinion. He is the cheapest pink diamond in the game by like uh, 50K. And his stats are great. I don't know. I know he's not in the spotlight series set, but it makes me wonder that if you pull a pink diamond out of packs, it's less rare than LeBron. So it's kind of crazy. But yeah, this Rolando Blackman is a very good car to buy. I believe his price should go up at least 10 to 20K. Not a bad car to buy. Should go up in value. Hopefully he does. Another good car to buy. If you have a lot of MT, I mean a lot of MT, LeBron James Diamond. He is out of packs. And I believe that his price will rise. He's going to be out of packs. So... He's at 200K. I believe you could get him for like 180 if you're lucky. And then maybe flip him for like 220, 230. Personally, I bought mine for 250 and I sold it for 200. I lost a ton of MT. That's 70K MT loss with a freaking reduction. So yeah, Diamond LeBron, not a bad one if you could get him for the low. Let's see. Um, Carl Malone isn't bad. You could stop, uh, you could stop uh, stock up on a ton of Carl Malone's. Let's check out his price because think about it. Carl Malone is out of packs. Um, so let's go check. We got Carl Malone, 16K. Now, if you could stock up, let's say 10 of them for like 14 or 15K, wait till like Monday night, Tuesday night. Um, he'll probably sell for a little over 20K. You could probably make four to 5K a pop, which isn't bad. Not a bad method. This is how I make most of my MT. I usually do it all sets. But this 16K one right here is not that bad. Honestly, how tall is he? Six nine. He's not a bad car. I might pick him up for 16k. It's kind of worth it. Yeah, I'm gonna scoop him up. That's a pretty good price. I'm gonna wait. Hopefully, I make some MT off that. Yeah, he's not a bad card either. And also, another good card is Mr. Willis Reed over here. Uh, he's really cheap. I saw him for 30k. Is he still 30k? No way. He went up that much. No way. Oh my god. I saw two of them for 30k today. He's at 50k. Um, damn. I, that's an L on me. Let's see. What else we got? Mark Price. Bob Love is not a bad buy. His card's going away soon. Um, Bob Love Diamond, bro. You could try to upgrade him to a pink diamond. Not a bad card at all. Try sniping him too. I sniped out two of them for 45k and I sold both of them on for 60. That's about. Whoa. Is that a snipe? Oh my god, I wish I had MT. Yo, Bob Love dropped a ton. This card is actually stacked. Look at these stats. This is a very good card. This isn't even his pink diamond. Highly recommend you try sniping this card out and picking him up. He's a complete beast all around. Defense, everything. Um, only downside is he is a... He could play small forward too. This card's really good. Really athletic type of dude. He's great. Really good power forward in my opinion. Um, but yeah, so some of those cards are going to work out. I really recommend you do buy most of those cards. Also, um, Sidney Moncrief, if you could get him for the low, I would say like 80K is not a bad buy because once again, he's out of packs. There's not a lot on the auction. So now, if you can maybe get one for 85 or less, you could potentially sell him for 100K bid. Now, you sell him for 100K bid, that is about, if you get him for 85, you can make about 5K or maybe even more if the bid goes higher, but it's not a bad bet. I really would recommend you make the bet. And if it doesn't work out, you could also just use Pink Diamond City Moncrief because he's a complete beast. But right now, I would recommend do not sell your cards right now. I would just wait a little bit longer and just hope for the best. Um, I really just don't think you should buy cards. And yo, Harden's already at 100k bid. Yeah, I just don't think you should buy cards. Just go ahead, pick up cards. Just wait a little bit. I don't know. It's just not a good time to sell. If you have MT, it's a good time to buy, so that's good. But yeah, don't sell your cards, you'll lose a lot of MT. And also, this Julius Irving, bro, is really cheap. He's a good card to pull. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Market overview is over. Um, any cards you want me to add? If you have any questions about cards or anything, let me know in the comments. I'll answer you. Any questions about anything in NBA, I got you. So let me know in the comments. That's all I got, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.